Model View Controller. The basic model view controller concept is as follows. Views can be defined using XML with HTML, mixed or standalone, JavaScript, JSON, or declarative HTML. Controllers are bound to a view or standalone and can be used by multiple views. Models are used for data binding on the views. This chart shows the relationship between models, views, and controllers in an application. It's helpful to understand the file location logic used by SAP UI5. Controllers and views use the require slash declare logic, so if a controller is referenced like this, it will check to see if you already have defined the controller in one of your already processed application sources. If this is not the case, then UI5 tries to load the definition from a file that by default is located in your UI5 resources folder. This applies to views as well. Let's look at an example of implementing MVC in an SAP UI5 application. Inside of an HTML page, we have a JavaScript block that we use to instantiate our MVC. So we're going to specify or create the view. And to do that, we just call sap.ui.jsView, specify a name. In this case, we'll call it mvcexample.jsView. And we can paste in some code here just to save some time that will essentially create a button that has a press event that will pop up an alert. So a very simple view, but demonstrates the functionality. We then need to create our controller. And so we're going to specify our controller with the name mvcexample.jsView and paste in some code here that specifies the instantiation of that view uh, with the variable named myView. And we use the placeAt function to set that view into the content div tag of our HTML. When we press the button, we get the alert popping up. 